Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the switch statement. Now the reason I have an if-else statement up is because the switch and if-else statements are very similar. However, the difference being that the switch statement, the expression is only evaluated once. Okay, so let's take a look at this, just the regular uh, syntax of an if-else statement. We talked about it a little bit in the last few episodes. But we're just asking if age is greater than or equal to 21, then we're going to output this. If not, then we'll, if this is true, we'll output this. And if none of those are true, we'll output uh, this last one here. All right, so let me show you another if-else statement to better explain the difference between an if-else and a switch. So coming over to this tab, and again, you don't need to type this all up, but this here, now I made the syntax a little bit different. I didn't do these on separate lines. I just echoed out the string uh, straight from the single line. Don't worry about that. I just did that because it's a lot easier to read rather than having all the all the um, curly brackets and such. So basically, um, if... Oh, I needed to add a foreign right here. So if v++ is equal to 4, then we're going to echo out 4. Else if v++ is equal to 3, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so remember what I said at the beginning. A switch statement only evaluates the expression once. Okay, now here, every time we come through an expression, we're evaluating. Now remember what plus plus does. This will actually add one after the, um, after the, after the, after the statement has been evaluated. So technically, when we come down here, v is actually at one. Okay, and then it says, so So let me just show you this. If I make this one right here, and then I hit save, and I run it, you'll see that three was echoed out. Okay, because V actually is equal to one at this point. So if I come back up here, let me just hit three. I'll make that back to three. Now again, it, I can show you this. If I do plus plus at the beginning of this variable V, and I change this to one, you'll see what I mean. Well, okay, select or save. And then F7, you'll see 4 was output because I'm adding 1 at the very beginning of this evaluation. Okay, does that make sense? We've talked about this before. So if I were to come all the way down here, so again, so let's, so let's just knock this back a little bit. Plus plus here. If we have this the way it should be, and I ran this, you'll see V is currently equal to 0. Now if I run this, you'll see that 2 was output. And the reason 2 was output is because by the time we get to 2, by the time we get to right here, v actually is equal to 2. Okay? Because we've added, we've made v1 there, and then we made v2 here. So now that we come down here, v is currently equal to 2. Right? We never got the added one. Because remember, it, this variable this plus plus followed, so it, it'll happen after the expression, okay? Okay, so let's get creating a switch statement. So what I'll do is I'll just, uh, I'll comment this one out. And forward slash star. I want that in there still. Star forward slash, okay? We'll start by creating our variable. And we'll just call it v2. We'll set it equal to zero. Now we'll come below that. We'll create our switch, and we're just going to target V2 right there. We're going to do curly braces. What we'll do is case 4. And we'll echo out 4, if it is 4. We're going to do a semicolon here to separate it. We're not going to worry about going to the line below on this one. Um, but we'll we'll do a break right here. So this means we are going to hop out and finish. Now this is something we do have to do with a switch statement is that we'll it'll actually go down to the next one. Like with an if else, if you hit an else if, um, then it'll just output from there. It'll jump out automatically. Here we do need to create a break if we want to get out of it. We'll come down below that. We'll do case five, uh, three. Echo three here. We'll do a break right here. Case two. Echo 
two. Not sure why I make these strings capital. I'm only punishing myself. Case. See, my editor, my IDE wants to do it the exact proper syntax, but it's going to work. Echo one. Break. Finally, instead of an else statement at the end, keyword is default. Echo no dice. No dice. And break. Okay, now we can save it and run it. And you'll see that no dice was returned. And that is because we still have our variable set at zero and not, uh, zero was not an option. All right, so to illustrate the difference between these two, if you uh, if it hasn't quite clicked, let's notice we're only evaluating this expression once. If I were to do plus plus right here and hit save and run it, you'll see that one was returned because during this this evaluation, v two became one because it it added one before the evaluation. Okay, so if we were to make this two, save it, run it, you'll see that three was returned. Now, why you need a break is because if I were to get rid of this break here, just delete it all together, and save this, then run it, you'll see that it goes down and includes whatever the next following command is, and then it hits the break. So it did end up including it too. So again, it's important to use that. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that quick intro to the switch statement. If you have any questions, ask those down below in the comments, and I'll make sure to get down there. Thanks for watching. My name is Jake. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you do. See you next time. Peace.